Hello, everybody. My name is JD Braun. I'm a senior specialist solutions architect in cloud infrastructure and security here at Databricks. Happy to be in front of everybody. So before we get started, just some crowd work, some crowd interaction. How many people here are a data professional, say like a data analyst, engineer, scientist? All right, there's a lot of y'all. All right, how about my uh, DevOps folks? How many people here are? All right, cloud infrastructure, DevOps, and any security people in the room? All right, we got a few of you too. Now, last question, how many folks here are in the session because this is the only session that had Terraform in the name? All right, I'm writing that down so I can invite it back again. Uh, well, welcome everybody. This is Terraform Templates for Secure Databricks Deployments from day zero. Let's go and get started. All right, if you were here last year, you may have heard about the two legs of the data intelligence platform security. On our left here, we have our security best practice documents. These are found in our security and trust center, and these define what you should be doing within your environment to secure it. This is best practice such as backing up your data, SSO, et cetera. In the other side, we have our security analysis tool, our monitoring capability. You deploy this functionality within your workspace, and it will give you best practices and where your workspace may have some room for growth. So I see a couple of confused faces asking, you know, never heard about the two-legged stool metaphor. Next, you're gonna be saying, haven't heard about a pair of blind mice. Two is a crowd, two musketeers. Of course you haven't. Reason being, a two-legged stool is unbalanced, falls right over. It's not supported. Well, that's what we thought when we came here last time, is we had our security best practices, we had our security analysis tool, but we felt like we were missing something. We felt like we were missing something that brought together the entire story. So our, question, our customers were asking us, how can I deploy workspaces with Databricks security best practices? Our answer, security reference architecture with Terraform templates make deploying workspace with security best practices simple. Our entire goal here is to get everybody off the ground as quickly as possible in a secured and hired environment from day zero. So with SRA in the mix, we balance out that stool and create a very balanced, stable security legs of our data intelligence platform. Now, as we go through it, they all play a part in the greater security story. Like I mentioned, we start off with the definition. If you're new to Databricks, if this may be your first conference and you're coming here, starting off with our best practices gets a viewpoint into the threat model of Databricks. It talks about what you can be doing to protecting your environment and how you can further secure it. Now we have our security reference architecture Terraform templates. These Terraform templates here are for you to get started quickly, where you can go in, clone the repo, and hopefully get started within a few minutes, deploying with all the best practices. And then last, we have our security analysis tool. I'll be showcasing this within the deployment of SRA, but this is a dashboard where you can see where your workspaces may need additional functionality to harden them. All right. Now let's talk a little bit more about our security reference architecture Terraform templates from a high level. Number one, like I mentioned before, at its core, it's Terraform. It's a cloud provider and the Databricks provider coming together with opinionated best practices to deploy as simply and as securely as possible. Number two, we're taking an opinionated perspective with these Terraform templates. They are for, for example, on AWS, it is for our enterprise tier where we have implemented backend private link, customer managed keys, et cetera. So it's something that we come forward with the upfront opinion of here's how we think that these should be implemented. Next, it's open. SRA is open. It's available on our GitHub right now. You can go out there, you can clone the repo, go through all the files. We wanna make it as accessible to you that if you don't use the entire Terraform template itself, you can at least find something that you could deploy into your stack. And last, it's living and breathing. I'm sure like you've seen at the conference today, we're making announcements left and right on different parts of our product. And we want SRA to be the core piece where that continually gets updated, where for example, with our serverless capabilities, where we re released our network connectivity configurations, we wanna go up front and put that in here. 
so that instead of y'all building it out yourself, you have a nice, easy place, a foundation where you can pull from. Now, what's included in our security reference architecture Terraform templates? Like I mentioned, it's straightforward, two providers. We have our cloud infrastructure providers, so whether you're on GCP, Azure, or AWS, which is gonna be doing things like deploying the object store buckets. It'll be deploying the private endpoints. It'll be doing everything that happens within the cloud provider. The next is the Databricks resources from the Databricks provider. That's gonna be setting up things like secrets, as an example, token management, Unity catalog, everything right from the get-go. An important part when we were building out these Terraform templates was cloud parity. We wanted to instill best practices across all three clouds from the get-go. That's why in our repository for these Terraform templates, you'll find AWS, which I'll be talking more about today as the steward of that branch, well, at Azure, and we have GCP, where we're seeing the cloud parity that exists across them. AWS, for example, we have private link enabled. Azure, we have private link, with the space in between the private and link, of course, enabled. And then GCP, private service connect. So we are really focusing on making sure that each of the clouds have parity. So if you are a multi-cloud shop, you can go here, get the best practices, those Terraform templates, and apply them within your own stack. So right now, I'm gonna get into some, the decisions that we made from an AWS perspective to implement the best practices. Now, if you're Azure or GCP and you have that implemented, again, Welcome to go to the branch. I'm happy to connect you with the steward of that branch as well after this if you're interested in learning more. But we're going to go a little bit into the decision making that we made for AWS when talking with customers to do best practices. So first things first is when we were developing SRA and deploying the cloud infrastructure and the workspaces on top of it. One of the most important pieces, I'm sure most of you working with Databricks has realized, is what does that underlying networking configuration look like of the workspace? When those classic compute clusters are spinning up, what are they talking to? Are they talking to the public internet? Are they talking to different buckets? Are they talking to APIs, et cetera? So initially, we started with the sandbox mode. And inevitably, we had folks coming up to said, unfiltrated internet access? You're kidding absolutely not gonna fly in our enterprise. So we're like, okay, we'll add an optional egress firewall method where you can go and access public repositories like PyPy, Maven, et cetera. And then when we had that, we're like, customers came up to us and they said, internet access? Absolutely not. So we created a network isolation mode as well, all built within SRA. So when you deploy this into your environment, just through a variable, you can select what network topology that you want under the covers. And again, we want SRA to be that reusable booster to your journey to a secure deployment to get started and not the entire rocket. So we're giving you these optionalities that you can use right from the get-go and get started. All right, so next we're gonna go into a little bit of a demo and looking at the environment and kind of what's included within our Terraform templates that are available. All right, so first things first here, I'm gonna go ahead and try and zoom in. So first things first, what I've done here is using the Terraform templates, I've deployed three different workspaces. I've deployed a sandbox example, I've deployed a firewall example, and I've deployed an isolated version. Each of these out of the box will be connected to one regional meta store. It's a true or false Boolean if you wanna connect it. And then two, each of these will have their own isolated unique catalog catalogs within them. So again, we want to make sure that as we're deploying these workspaces, not only are we taking into consideration the networking best practices, but the Databricks best practices, like isolated catalogs, token management, secrets, et cetera. So first thing, we're going to take a look at our sandbox workspace. All right. So just an example, on the left here, we see the catalog that's isolated to it. In here, we're doing our egress testing. So we're trying to see what we can reach outbound. 
again, very important, whether it's a malicious user or if it's not a malicious user, what they can reach outbound is an important part of the security journey. So as you can see in the download file, we're doing a pip install of a package. It was successful. And then just a call to do my IP address on a you know, standard REST API. Again, most people will see that be like, okay, that's fine. For a lot of corporations, that's not okay to be interacting with various assets that may exist across the internet. So in our firewall egress mode, We've gone ahead and allowed PyPy to be able to be accessed, but we start to restrict all of the other assets that may be out there. So we have an allow list that is available that can be updated within these Terraform templates straight within the module. So if this doesn't fit the bill for your egress firewall, you can go ahead and add additional ones. Now, my most favorite architecture that I love talking about that's included and built in batteries included to SRA is our isolated, our isolated architecture. This is an architecture that has no outbound internet access. It relies on AWS Private Link, S3 Gateway endpoints to operate everything on the back end. So you can see here, I try and do a pip install. Doesn't work. I try and do an API call. It doesn't work. But Power of UC, Unity Catalog, I'm able to read from an external location. All of this communication is happening on the back end. Deciding how we want to deploy the network architecture is a key security story, which we wanted to give to you all in these Terraform templates. So you can easily select the version you want to deploy. So we talked a little bit about the underlying characteristics of these workspaces. Now let's talk about what else you get. Security analysis tool is an important feature of our ecosystem in it of this three-legged tool. It's a tool that can be used outside of SRA. It's a publicly available repo, just like SRA is. But this is what tells you how your environment is doing. So I've pointed this tool, it's a couple jobs that run under the covers, to my sandbox environment. And it spun up, showing me what I could do better. And to get this in an SRA-driven workspace, all you have to do is hit true on the balloon for Terraform. So again, we're trying to make it simple, batteries included, to get you started off in the right spot and in the right direction for Terraform and deploying hardened workspaces. Our SAT tool will tell you information about your network security, your identity and access options. As you can see, I do not have SSNO enabled on this workspace specifically. So flagging, data protection opportunities, and more. So again, when we're using SRA, we want to make this simple to get the full package that you're going through. Not only we're backing into best practices, but you also get that third leg of the stool included of the monitoring. Now, we also have our queries. So this is another solution accelerator that is included within our Terraform templates. When you open up the module and you click true to this, you are now going to get queries for audit log analysis. If you are concerned about users operating your environment, whether that's destructive behaviors, whether that is, whether that is privilege escalation, et cetera, you can enable this within the security analysis tool to be able to see that where you will be getting alerted based on these queries directly to you. Again, all of these is built into these Terraform templates where again, we're trying to make it as simple as possible for you to deploy. Go ahead and switch back to my slide here. Now, that's not all. I feel like a knife salesman when I say that, like I'm on an infomercial. Now, that's not all you get. You also have the ability to restrict your environments further in these Terraform templates. So we've been talked about the Databricks resources. On the networking side, you can close to restrict the network endpoints, whether that's your S3 gateway endpoint, whether that's the Kinesis endpoint, and STS. Again, there's a lot of things we've worked with customers about in these security, these security conversations that we wanted to include right from the start for you all, is that you go in, you fill out your parameters, and you get deployed. And you can see how you're doing, and you get the modes that you're going to be deploying with. So again, trying to make this as simple as possible for everybody.
Now, let's talk about the final thoughts here. So five key points to wrap up this lightning talk. These security reference architecture Terraform templates that are available is just one piece of the puzzle. We're trying to help you get started with your Terraform journey and to simply deploy it. So we have the Terraform scripts built out according to the best practices, but that's only one leg. The best practices definition is required because that's gonna include things that cannot be easily terraformed or easily monitored, like backing up your data or other activities such as that. That's the important part to get through right away. Next is our security analysis tool. Is that, again, we try and do our best with SRA to deploy as efficiently as possible right out the gate, but SAT will give you your entire landscape, your entire ecosystem of workspaces and where you could be doing more. Maybe you had a couple workspaces deployed manually, but now with SRA, you're deploying one workspace, have everything included, and you're getting these solution accelerators. Number two, a key point. SRA is going to be your reusable booster and not the entire rocket to the data intelligence platform security. We want you to use this as the starting point, is the journey that you're going where you feel comfortable and confident that what is being deployed with these Terraform templates is adhering to our best practices. And then you come in on top with your unique business cases, whether that is deploying models or that is writing tables and the permission model on top of that. All that is an important journey that we can't easily cover within these security reference architecture templates. Next is in these Terraform templates, leverage these best practice solution accelerators. I can't stress enough how much SAT is going to matter as you continue to monitor your environments and the audit log anal analysis of taking those system tables and taking what you have and monitoring your environment effectively so you, not, you know what is going on ahead of time and you're actively alerted to potential anomalies that exist. Third, identity integration should be done on day one. If deploying SRA, go on Terraform, deploying the module is day zero, next day you should be integrating SSO and skin provisioning to it. Right now that is not supported by Terraform out the box, so that is a one-time activity within the account console, but I can't stress that enough. As soon as you get your Terraform deployed, go in, set up SSO, set up skim, right from the top level, and then start picking up those groups with Terraform and assigning them as needed. Last point, and this is just a general best practice, this, this is a security talk regardless, is that when you're deploying SRA, analyze your outbound patterns. As we saw with our AWS, we have three different options that are available that you can use, whether open egress, whether firewalls, or no outbound access at all. It's very important you monitor that, what assets are being talked to and how you set that up. Next, define your normal in-pattern usage. Do you have data analysts? Do you have data scientists? Think about how you can monitor them and how you can bring them into one globe. So if you start noticing patterns that may be out of the realm of this is probably what they shouldn't be doing, you can action on it as soon as possible. And then last, implement front-end preventive measures as soon as possible, whether that's SSO, IP access list, which you can do through the security reference architecture Terraform templates, or front end private link. Again, we're trying to, with SRA and coming into the environment, we're trying to balance out the stool where we define and then we deploy, get you up and running as soon as possible, and then we allow you to monitor continuously going forward. So, last thing, last note that I'll have is that security is changing and Terraform templates and everything like that is great. But as we all heard, the focus is on generative AI. So we do have another session coming up tomorrow that's talking about our Databricks AI security framework. So it is the next step and next iteration as we start to build up the legs to the stool. We're at three now, imagine we're at four or five next year. But we started with the define, the deploy, the monitor. Now we're starting to move into the generative AI world and how we can monitor and keep those models secure from a number of different threats. This is led by one of the founding matters of the security analysis tool and SRA. And the session is tomorrow afternoon. So with that, again, our SRA is publicly available, Terraform templates. We appreciate contributions, issues, and more, and hope it makes your life easier when you get spun up with Databricks Simply. So thanks, everybody.